So the topic for today's video is how to automate SMS sending process with the Pabli Connect. So before we discuss how we can automate, let us first discuss what we can automate. So different businesses uses the SMS automation to send the welcome messages to their customers, to send the order confirmation messages to their customers, or to send the offers and discounts to their clients and customers, and not just to the customers and client. One can also send the appointment reminders to their patients as well, and one can also automate automate the process of sending the updates to their team members via sms one can also get the lead alerts on his own phone number and one can also get the bill reminders and other important notification on his phone number and a lot more so as a business owner if you are also sending or receiving the sms for any purpose then this video is for you because here i am going to teach you how you can automate the sms sending as well as the receipt receiving process okay so firstly we will pick an sms application like twilio sms alert message board etc and then we will integrate or connect that sms application with the pabli connect if you are not sure what is pabli connect let me tell you it is an integration and automation software that helps you easily connect to multiple applications and automate your task and pabli connect offers variety of sms application in its integration library so you can connect any application of your choice and automate the sms sending to the customers and ultimately improve your customer service or the sales and marketing services okay so let me first take you to the dashboard of pabli connect so this is the landing page of pabli connect and since i am an existing user of pabli connect so here you can see i am already logged in into the dashboard okay you can also create your free account in pabli connect in just 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free task to test the automation okay once you will reach to the dashboard firstly you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have pasted the name as automate sms sending process with the pabli connect now i will click on create button and then you will notice two boxes those are actually trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens then automatically do this understand with an example let's say a sale happened in a payment gateway application then it should automatically send an email to the customers via gmail application okay so this is how one need to always select the applications in which he is building an automation okay so according to our use case in the action application of course we will select the sms application only okay so let me search for this word that is sms and here you can notice lot of sms application are already integrated or already available in the integration library of pabli connect okay so you can select any application of your choice and connect that application with the pabli connect and start automate the sms sending process don't worry i will show you everything step by step and even a non technical person can also create this automation very easily you just need to follow this video till end okay so here i have searched for the sms how about i search for the sms and here you can see this message board is also the sms application and twilio is also an amazing sms application okay so in this video i am going to teach you the sms automation process with the help of twilio application okay so i have selected that same application here okay now we will do the setup of twilio later firstly let me show you what we will have to select in the trigger application okay so assume that you want to automate the process of sending the sms directly from the google sheets application in that case as a trigger application as the first application you will have to search for the google sheets application okay take another example let's say someone has submitted your google forms and to that form submitter you would like to send the sms automatically in that case you will have to search for the google forms application as the trigger application as your first application okay so in this way on the happening of any event in the first application in the trigger application you can then automatically send the sms to that form submitted to the customers okay in the same way you 
यू कैन इवन सिलेक्ट द शॉपिफाई एप्लीकेशन फॉर सेंडिंग दी ऑर्डर कन्फर्मेशन मैसेजेस और ऑर्डर कन्फर्मेशन एस एम एस टू द कस्टमर्स वाया एस एम एस ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेक एन एग्जाम्पल दैट आई हैव द कस्टमर्स डेटा इन टू द गूगल शीट्स वेन एवर द डेटा वेन एवर द कस्टमर्स डेटा इज गेटिंग एडेड इन टू माई गूगल शीट्स आई वुड लाइक टू इमीडिएटली सेंड द एस एम एस वाया टूल योर एप्लीकेशन ओके सो दैट इज वाई आई एम गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट हेयर Google Sheets application, okay? And again, I am telling you, in the first application, in the trigger application, you can select any application of your choice. It completely depends on your use case, okay? So I have selected the application. All right. Now I will go back to the spreadsheet, okay? So here you can notice this is the spreadsheet in which I am having the dummy name of the person, dummy email address of the person, and even the dummy phone numbers of the customers, okay? Don't worry about this dummy number because when I will send the SMS, I will replace this dummy number with my genuine number, okay? Don't worry about that, okay? But currently we will proceed with the same dummy data only just to learn how we can automate the process of SMS sending, okay? So this is the Pabbi Connect dashboard. Firstly, I will select the trigger event that is new or updated spreadsheet row. Okay, so basically I want that whenever the data is getting updated in a new row, this automation should trigger. So that is why I have selected this trigger event. Okay, and here I have a single trigger event only. Okay, now here you can see after selecting the trigger event, it has provided me a webhook URL and few set of instructions. Okay, so you will have to follow these instructions very carefully. fully one by one okay and with the help of this url only we are going to connect our google sheets with the pabbi connect okay let me close this landing page for now okay firstly i am going to copy this webhook url in front of you and then i will take you to my spreadsheet then i will click on this extension click on add ons clicking on get add ons and here firstly i will search for the pabbi connect webhooks add on okay all right so i am searching for the same that is pabbi connect webhooks add on and this Addon is already installed into my account because I have built this automation multiple times. Okay, but make sure if you are building this automation for the first time, you will have to firstly install this addon. Okay, and after the installation, you can open this addon from here. You can find that addon here, Pabbi Connect Webhooks. Okay. Click on that initial setup, and here exactly we will have to paste the same webhook URL which we have received via Pabbi Connect. Okay, so firstly I am removing the existing data, and here in this field I have pasted the webhook URL, and in the second field that is trigger column, it is asking to provide the column name. Okay, so firstly read the instructions that the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. Okay, so basically it is asking to provide the column. name on the filling of which this automation should trigger or you can see the data should be sent to public connect okay so in our spreadsheet i have the last data entry column as c okay so whenever someone is going to add the data into the new row of course the data will go up to the c column okay so that is why i want that whenever the data is filled up to c this automation should trigger okay so i have clicked on that send a test button and here you can see the whole row data the first row data has been sent to public connect successfully okay i'm clicking on submit you can see the setup configured successfully and i have closed that box now when i will come back to public connect you will notice an amazing thing that the same google sheets response the first row data will be received via public connect so here you can notice we have the trigger column we have the spreadsheet name we have the id we have the sheet name as well you can see we have here sheet one and the same is visible here also we even have the row index that is two row okay dummy user admin at the rate pabditudes.com and this phone number is actually available at row number two okay so this is the same data and let me show you the real data of the customer that is the phone number the name and the email well here real doesn't mean that this is the real data i'm saying that this is the data presented already presented into my spreadsheet okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our spreadsheet and pabbi connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to add the new data in this spreadsheet the details will be collected via pabbi connect instantly because 
this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time but for that you will have to enable one more very important settings that is go to extension go to pabdi connect webhooks and then enable this send on event okay i am repeating this again that you will have to enable this important settings that is send on event okay once you will enable this option this will ensures that after that whenever a new row is getting added the data will be sent to pabdi connect automatically okay when you will enable this option you will notice that a tick mark will be added here automatically okay so coming back to pabli connect and the first step of our automation is done which was capturing the data of google sheets in pabli connect now we are going to send the sms to this particular person okay via twilio application okay so we have already selected the twilio application as an action application we just need to firstly select the action event that is of course the send sms message here you can notice lot of action events have been provided here so you can choose any action event of your choice in this video we are learning that how one can automate the process of sms sending so that is why i have selected the same action event and just like firstly we have built the connection in our google sheets and pabli connect now we will build a connection into our twilio and pabli connect application okay so for that i will click on connect then i will click on add a new connection and then it will ask you the following details that is the account as id the authorization token and again the as id okay so let me show you if you are already logged in into your twilio application or into your sms application you will find all the details here okay so let me first copy the as id and paste at both the places and then i am going to add the authorization token so let me again copy it and paste it here and after that i will directly click on that save button and you will notice that my twilio application will be also connected with the pabli connect okay now here exactly it is asking to provide the body of the sms basically what sms you would like to send to your customers whose data is present into the google sheet okay so assume that we are sending some discounts as a shop owner to all the customers okay so i am going to compose an sms in the same way something like hello and here i want that automatically the name of the person should appear okay so instead of manually copying the phone number and placed it here i'm sorry for that i am going to map the name of the person how when you will click on this field you will find the above data the google sheets data here in the drop down you just need to select that data and this is how the data will be mapped now you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details i am mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time okay and whatever the details i am providing here manually these details will remain same okay so this is the difference in between providing the value manually and in between providing the value with the mapping and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and this is how this automation is going to take place okay so let me compose my sms it is our 10th anniversary of our jewelry store so that is why we are giving flat discount of 25% to all the special customers and since you are one of them we are sharing the code to avail that discount code is and here i will write something like okay let me correct the spelling i will write something like 10 years jewel okay jewel so this is going to be the code okay and thanks and here lastly i will write my company name something like pabli team okay i'm adding this particular name so in this way you can compose your sms and whatever the details you want to keep on changing automatically you can add those detail with the help of mapping let's say you want that the email address should also appear here of the customer okay so how about i write something like kindly confirm your email address to receive future offers via gmail okay 
so i have composed a nice email and here i want that the, the email address of the person should be automatically captured from here and added here from the google sheets okay so that is why i am going to again map this email address okay this is how with the help of mapping these details will be replaced automatically and this is how this automation will work asking for the sender number okay so i am actually into the trial mode okay so i will go with this uh, number only provided via trio okay so i have pasted the same asking for the recipient number and again i want that this recipient number should be keep on changing automatically as soon as the new data is getting added into the google sheets okay so i have uh, i am going to map the same from this data only okay currently i am mapping this dummy number only but before i will click on this final save and send test request button i will replace this number with my genuine phone number okay and then i will even upload that screenshot to you that what kind of sms i have received on my phone number okay so i think i have provided all the the important details now i am going to replace this number and i am adding my number and then i will click on that button and make sure that you provide the number into this specific format only okay so that is why firstly i am adding the plus 91 i'm sorry plus 91 All right so I have provided my number clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to be received into the Pabli Connect All right so the response is received and in the response you can clearly see the status sent from your Twilio number and it is also showing me the SMS okay and let me tell you when you will send this number the Twilio might also ask you to verify that incoming number okay so I have verified this number from this verify caller ID let me show you the once again here you will notice lot of option okay so in this phone number option you will find the option of manage okay click on that and go to the verified caller id's action and here from this add new caller id button you can verify that number for now okay i hope you have understood okay let me come back to pabli connect dashboard let me first check whether i have received the uh, sms or not and yes i have received the sms successfully give me a second let me also upload the same screen shot here also All right so this is the screenshot of SMS which I have received on my number it is a 10th anniversary of a jewelry store so that is why we are giving a flat discount of 25% to all the special customers and since you are one of them okay i'm sorry i think i have uh, missed that m um, in this them okay don't worry i will correct it we are sharing the code to avail that discount and code is 10 year jewel okay kindly confirm your email address to receive future offers uh, via g mail and here i have also added the email address thanks pabli team so did you notice that how automatically sms has been received on my phone number i have not done anything i have simply set an automation in this pabli connect and once you will set this automation here after that you can sit back and relax because after that every time you are going to add the new data here the sms will be sent automatically to that customer so okay currently i have shown you that how you can send these sms in real time okay whenever the new data will be added here the messages will get sent automatically but let's say you have the data of lot of customers maybe hundreds and thousands of customers in this spreadsheet and instead of sending the messages in real time you want to send the bulk sms to your customers in that case you just need to follow same process except the send on event you just need to enable the send all data okay and as soon as you will click on that button you will notice that the sms will start getting sent to all your customers yes you just need to follow the same process and if you are sure that your automation is working absolutely fine with the first row data after that you can click on that send all data and the sms will get sent to all the customers automatically okay so this is how now onwards you can automate the process of sms sending with the pabli connect thank you for watching this video